what better Christmas present could you possibly want than the winner of the King George at Kempton on Boxing Day? And stupidly, myself and Trevor Harris have decided to come on camera and openly try and find you the winner in what is possibly the most competitive and exciting King George in as long as I can remember. I mean, Trevor, you only have to look down the first eight in the betting to realise how excited us as the bookmakers and the general public need to be looking at this race. You've got long run, former Gold Cup winner and King George winner. Alpha Off Supreme winner, Paddy Powell winner, Q Card Bumper winner, second in last year's article to the mighty Sprinter Sacra, Riverside Theatre that won a Ryanair, you've got Captain Chris and Arkle winner, Finian's Rainbow Queen Mother winner, Sir Deschamp the winner of the Juice and this is jam packed with absolute quality, not like in years gone by where you've got a solid favourite in Corto Star or Desi or something like that that turns up and you expect to win and it does so. From a punting point of view, this is ex exciting as it possibly comes. And Trevor, I think we're going to have a nice argument here, me and you, aren't we? I think so, yeah. I think it all uh, rolls around the favourite long run. 7-2 to two the field, though, which is, uh, shows you how competitive the race is. And long run is a starting point for the race. Uh, second last year, won it the year before. Guaranteed stamina and a good record at the course. And the pro uh, prospect of front running, I think that is the most exciting thing about this horse's chance. Going to go from the front, use its stamina, jump boldly, and uh, has a favourite chance, but I've got to oppose. Steadily on the downgrade as far as I'm concerned, and this is competitive. It's the best horse in the race, but I'll be taking it on. I know you will, and I'll probably be having my money with you, Trevor, I hope. Come back from holiday and draw immediately, that'll be the plan. Why overcomplicate a race that doesn't need overcomplicating? If you look down, it says three miles at the top. They're going to be running over three miles, and let's concentrate on that. Stamina doubt surrounding Alpha Roth, Hugh Card sizing Europe, Captain Chris, Finian's Rainbow, even Sir the Champ. Three miles is not two miles four. And I think Long Run, who's won round Cheltenham, he's run a King, won a King George. Hopefully he will go for the front and get into a rhythm. And um, the certain jockey who we all know will just sit there pretty and get, get it done. But I think the main value does lie with Long Run in that it's a guaranteed stayer and I think it'll win the race. Fair enough. You could also argue it's a bit too slow, and this lot might have too, too much toe for it. Um, the idea you don't have to stay three miles at Kempton is rubbish. You do need to get the trip strongly. He will get the trip strongly. I just think he's on the downgrade, and uh, good chance to take him on again. Well, I mean, looking at the second favourite, Alpha Roth, currently a five-to-one shot. I mean, its performance in the Paddy Power Gold Cup, it was, you could look at it in two ways. Either it was scintillating, or you need to ignore the race. Only six got home that day. Okay, They were strung out like the absolute washing, but to win it off that weight that it did, you could also argue that it was a mind-boggling performance and it should even be favoured for this race. What what side of the coin are you with with that race, Trevor? Um, impressed. A higher handicap mark, the long run failed to win off in, the, in that race. Uh, if this is at Cheltenham, I'd be back in this. Uh, not convinced it'll go right-handed as effectively and um, for that reason I'll be opposing it really. Um, I think it'll stay, uh, I think it's a definitely uh, got place chances, but I don't think this is going to be his course, not, not for me. Okay, truth be told, I don't know about Alpha Roth, I think this is a watching brief for him. Let's hope the performance was everything it was at Cheltenham, but on this occasion I'll be passing up the 5-1. to one. Third in, the mighty Q card, what a wonderful horse this is, absolutely sluiced up in the bumper, you know, everyone expected it to go on and win the Supreme. Didn't quite go on, but since it's turned to chasing, I, I think I've been nothing but impressed by this horse. And the way it came out and won the Holden Gold Trophy in scintillating fashion at the beginning of the season, I'd love to back it. I'd love to see it win. But once again, back to that three-mile point, Trevor. I think very personal point as well. Um, lots of speed, this horse. Very impressive Exeter. Don't think it'll stay three miles. It's got lots of speed. I think it'll be going best. I think um, you'll be very confident for most of the trip. When it comes down to the last two finals, I think he'll be disappearing. Agreed. Love to see it win, but this is a stamina test, not a speed test. And for that reason, I'd also be against Captain Chris, a former Arkle winner. Captain Chris in at about 12 to 1. Looked like he was back to his best last time when smashing Finian's rainbow out the back of the telly. But bounce factor, definite possibility for Captain Chris. And I wouldn't be with it at 12 to 1. Yeah, I would want double those price to get involved. Um, don't like the form last time out. The favourite di clearly didn't give his running. Not good enough. OK, Riverside Theatre. Off the track for about 250, 260 days. They don't come out and win, uh, win King George, do they, Trev? This is the closest I can get to a bet in the race for me. Uh, brilliant fresh record. Uh, good course record. 
And um, I think it's best going right-handed. I think it won at Cheltenham last year despite not enjoying it. I mean, it was a fantastic ride by Garrity. Should have Garrity again, hopefully. And uh, with its record fresh, I think it's a massive runner. Won't have Garrity, hopefully. Hopefully Garrity will be riding Finian's Rainbow. And that's the great difference of opinion between me and you in this race, I think, Trevor. If we're looking at one or taking a long run on, I personally think that Garrity will be on Finian's Rainbow. If you put a line through its run at Ascot last time, which was just too bad to even imagine, hasn't been out the first nine, first two in its last nine starts. Wonderful record around Kempton. And I think at nine, ten to one, that's the each way bet of the race for me. Um, couldn't disagree more. Uh, absolutely convinced this horse wants to go left-handed. I think its record right-handed is poor. It won at Kempton. Six, oh, it was very short. It scrambled home, trade about 100 in running. Don't think it goes right-handed. Good chart on the record. Fancy if it runs in the Ryanair this year, but not. I don't fancy it at all. Kind of uh, feel a match bet coming on, Trevor. Absolutely delighted. Off levels. Deli- tenor. De- tenor. Delighted to oblige. There we go. Thank you very much. You know, you never can get too many bets in, can you, ladies and gentlemen? But okay, the one other horse I think that we need to talk to about is the the Liverpool of the horse racing world, the bookmaker's pal, the horse that loves to let everyone down. Here he is, Grand Crew, twelve to one. But is Kempt in his course? We certainly know that Cheltenham isn't, but can he bounce back? Can he come back to that scintillating form that saw him dominate at Kempton last season? 12-1 to each way bet? Well, on the Felton form last year at Kempton, it was a massive danger to all. Three miles, slight question mark, but I think he'll get it. And uh, it beat Silvanano Conte very easily, beat Bobsworth very easily. Uh, if you believe it's not a Cheltenham horse, then this could be the time to back this. Um, Another one I'd rather back than the favourite, and uh, I'd give it a good chance. I think Kempton, going right-handed, could be the key. Talking of long-run front running, do you think this could put it under massive pressure? Charge to the front, get it jumping poorly? Uh, I doubt it. I actually think it'll get a free run up front. I don't think anything will take it on. Maybe some of the bigger price ones will, but I don't think... Uh, I, I mean, Huntball might try and get up there early, but um, I can't imagine the ones we mentioned taking them on. Size okay. in Europe, maybe. I mean, yeah, I was just going to come on to that. I think one other horse that we do need to mention that, in my opinion, is a likely non-runner and yours is not, is the great size in Europe. Arguably the horse of its generation. If it hadn't gone wrong, wrong in the champion hurdle, it would have won that. Comes out, wins an Arkle, wins a Queen Mother, and looks like he's going on holiday for Christmas and coming to England for the first time, Trevor. Well, oh, I hope he runs. Uh, why wouldn't he? I mean, it's his last chance to get this race on his CV. Uh, good form for the first time up as usual and okay doesn't stay three miles in extreme mud in Ireland but three miles on good ground everybody's going to stay it has got a chance um, I think it'll be out of state I think it'll run very very well like like you love to see it run believe it when I see it but I mean just concluding I think Sir Deschamps we agreed is a likely non-runner mm. looking further down the likes of first lieutenant crystal bonus giant bolster nothing that really excites us down there no. for me it's the favourite, long run, get with it, get to the front, get him going, Whaley Cohen. And if I had to have one each way against the field, it would definitely be Finian's Rainbow. Uh, well, for me, Riverside Theatre and Grand Crew, two against the field. Confident that they both run very well. So from us here at Style Sports, we wish you a happy Christmas and also a profitable one. <laughs>